Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Sekiro. I've been playing this game quite a lot. And uh, I beat it once already. I got the regular good ending, but I heard there was four endings. And I wanted to get the true ending because I wasn't happy with the good ending. I know there's like a good ending and like a good alternative ending, but I wanted like the best ending. And so uh, after doing a lot of dying, I'm finally almost there. So uh, without further ado, let's go. Shinobi of the Divine Air, we meet again. Behold, the second mortal blade. Genichiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing, you are mistaken. Wolf. No one has the right to the dragon's heritage. It is no one's to bear. I wish there was another way. It's all right. One last time. Yes, let's finish this. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Grosses me out every time I see this. Pitiful grandchild. This was your last wish. To see Ashina return. Okay, I'm probably gonna die a lot here. I'll see you when I kill him. Die. Please just die. You're dead, right? Okay. Woo. All right, so you're going to come here, kneel before the divine heir? Wolf, where are you? And then if you've done the if you jump through all the loopholes, you'll have multiple options. You can give the divine dragon tears. This is the regular ending, regular good ending. You can give dragon tears with frozen tears. This is the secret ending. 
And there's one more where you can give the Divine, Dragon Tears, and something else, and that's like the alternative good ending. So we're going to see the secret ending now. I'm going to hide my face cam, and let's enjoy. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. Leave this place, my lord. Lord Kuro, may you be at rest. Allow me to hold you in my heart. Everyone, it is time. I must depart. The journey to sever our ties with fate will be a very long one indeed. And yet, you still wish to join us. I do. You have my thanks, Shinobi of the Dragon. Know that Kuro shares my joy. Let us depart to the west. To the birthplace of the Divine Dragon. Finally, that is it, guys. Complete, done, finished. This game was painful, very, very painful to play. It's really fun, but it's hard, really hard. So once you skip the credits, you can do the next playthrough. So I'm on playthrough three right now. Um, I don't know if I'll play another another round. I think I'm pretty done with the game. My first playthrough was agonizing. My second playthrough was not as bad as my first playthrough because I kind of knew what I was doing now, but I don't know if I'll play a third one. I hear the difficulty gets higher and higher all the way like Dark Souls games, but nah, I'm just probably just going to stop. So I'm going to select no. So there's actually one part in the game which I'm actually unsure on how to unlock. So on your second playthrough, well, on your first playthrough, when you when you come back here and you ask for Ishin's parting words, he gives you a book, right? So when you come to her the second playthrough, she actually says something else. So I'm going to let you guys read it. I'm going to hide my webcam again so you can see the subtitles. The item that Lord Ishin entrusted me with, it appears the time has not come for me to pass it on to you just yet. Please visit me again when you have mastered the esoteric understood like i've already maxed out all the skills that you can get the only thing that i'm missing are all the arm upgrades like the prosthetic arm upgrades i don't know do you need to max all of them out in order to get this book and what does this book do um if you guys know please let me know in the comments below i'm kind of curious if it's worth doing a third playthrough 
just to get all the things or if I should just stick with my second playthrough and just try to collect all the materials and upgrade my arm. Again, this is my second playthrough. The first playthrough, she gives you a skill book, which I used already, and I don't know what the second playthrough gives you. She keeps saying that I'm not ready yet, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's it for this video. A little bit different. I'm, you know, I've just been loving this game. It's really difficult, but I don't think I'm going to put myself through another playthrough because uh, it's, it's borderline too difficult for me. I don't like very difficult games. This is like the first type of Dark Souls game that I've ever played. I played Neo before. I really like Neo, and this game was really fun as well. I just have a thing for samurais and ninjas and shinobis, you know? It just feels good. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a subscribe as it really does help out my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Here.